Today, we will be going over how to install tint on your car windows. In this video, we will be working on a Corvette C8, but these steps should work on any other vehicle as well. The first thing you will want to do is trick the door lock. This is only necessary on vehicles with no window frames like the C8 here. All right, so here you have your, your door latch. You've got the, the hook and the latch. For all frameless windows, the window does go down when you open your door, but it does not reset to the up position. So in order to tint your window correctly, you take a you can take a, a wrap stick or, or anything that's stiff enough and thin enough to fit through. You trick it and that's your window going up. And now it's the perfect, now it's the right size to be tinted. Now the car thinks it's in the lock position. Your window will not reset. And when you cut that bottom edge to your window trim, this is the correct way to cut it. Uh, whereas if it was in the unlocked position and not reset, you would be about a half inch to three fourths of an inch short on your bottom cut. And you would need to start over the entire process. The way I measure the glass is we have a 60 inch roll here, for example. So the way I would measure the windows is from your longest point to the edge of the other side, which we have about 40 inches and your top to the bottom of the window trim is about 13 and a half. So because we have a 60 inch roll, we can basically cut out both windows at once. So you would go up to the 13 and a half or 14 inch mark, put your blade in. When you go to cut out the window or pull out the film, it can cut both out at the same time. And because the window is about 40 inches, uh, I leave it at about 20 and I set up my measuring tape. I pull out my film, about 20 inches. And since it was 40 inches, we'll do this process twice just to avoid the measuring tape falling down. So once you've got the film cut out, you've got just enough excess up top, all over the sides and on the bottom and the front edge all around. So you can trim to the size you need. So I'm gonna go trim that side. When cutting on glass, there's two types of blades. There's carbon blades and there's stainless steel blades. When you're cutting directly on glass, you wanna use stainless blades. But my preference for top edges, since it dulls the blade quickly, um, is carbon blades. I go about two or three clicks out. The process would be, this is with no film. So this is just regular soap and water, uh, dish soap. Wet your glass. You can use either baby shampoo, uh, Johnson Johnson or the Blue Dawn. I, I tend to use the Blue Dawn dish soap because it tacks almost immediately when I place it on the glass, when I install. Whereas Johnson and Johnson tends to slip a little too much, but it, it, it's all about personal preference. I've already cut out my bottom edge to the, the bottom of the window trim. I've left about a half inch on the right side and I trimmed about an inch to the top. So you wanna grab your squeegee. What your goal is to get as flat of a top edge as possible. So you're gonna work all these fingers around the window. So all the tension is towards the bottom so you can shrink it later. So your goal is to have this across the whole top edge and just start squeezing down. Um, when you get to where the fingers are, you can you can split them into two, but don't squeegee directly over them because you can uh, risk creasing your film and you would have to start the process all over. So now we're gonna we're gonna cut the top edge and you wanna do this in, in one single cut uh, to avoid any jagged cuts or, or miscuts. And you wanna go directly on the glass And go all the way across. So this is where I stop. I leave this edge uncut because on this model car, the inside edge is about half inch behind this trim. So if you were to cut it here, you would end up half an inch short and have a light gap on the inside. So now you're gonna grab your heat gun and, and shrink all these fingers. My preference is a, like a vinyl wrap squeegee with a felt buffer. All right, so on your highest setting on your heat gun, your goal is to get all of these to shrink down to the bottom factory edge of the film. And you want the whole film to look like this. So you wait for your, your fingers to zigzag and you shrink them down. And you always want to keep the heat gun moving 
Uh, if you keep it in the same spot for just a couple seconds too long, you do risk burning the liner and the film itself. The heat gun allows the film to shrink to the curvature of the window. Some cars don't require it. Most Jeep, Wranglers, Broncos, since all the all the windows on the car are flat, but for example, the C8, because it's frameless and the curvature of the body, the actual window itself has a lot of curve, so it does require a lot of shrinking. All I have left, pretty much just prep the inside of the window and then we'll go ahead and come back to the film and get it ready to install. So my process for prepping the window, I use a non-scratch scrub pad and plastic or stainless steel single edge razor blade. If you do use the stainless steel, just make sure you're careful with the angle you use it at. So I'm prepping the inside so I can install the window tint. This goes on the inside of your glass. So there's two pieces to the window film. So what I usually do is I just bite a corner and you, you're able to separate the liner from the actual film. I always do this before laying the film on the glass. So your goal is to have the clear liner side facing you. You always want the adhesive facing the inside of the window because when you go to install it, this is what's gonna stick to the inside of your window. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the, the inside window where we're gonna install. And this is just dish soap and water. I'm gonna scrub it. On all frameless doors, you really want to pay close attention to the top and the side edges that are exposed um, since they do get dirty from the inside window trims and then with your plastic razor blade you just want to scrape all of that dirt down to your your window gasket Once you've got your, your windows bladed and scrubbed, you wanna grab like a corner tool or a hard card, get behind the seals and just pull everything to the edge. What I like to do is just give it one last spray and squeegee all of the water off. Make sure your, your surface is good to go. And then we're wiping off after every wipe so you have a clean squeegee every time and you don't, you don't run the risk of contaminating the window again after you just prepped it. One more time with your, your corner tool. And you just run by again. All right, so as of right now, your window's ready to be laid with film and you're good to install. So what I do is I wet my fingers. You wanna wet your gasket. Spray your glass. Now we're back to this side. Since we are working on the car itself, we have no peel board, so this is what I like to do. I use the actual glass of the door. I just scratch my nail across and you're able to pick up the liner. And as soon as you pull the liner, you want to spray so you don't run the risk of getting any dust or dirt on the film. And you go back to the other side, tuck your nail behind, pick it up towards the middle and fold your top edge down. Pull it over, flip it back up, lay your inside corner, and then lay the rest of your film. So your main goal is to line up your factory edge up top as close as possible. Um, since this is a frameless window, we are gonna be shaving at the end anyways. So spray your film. So to tuck behind the gaskets, I like to use a, a hard card. You get behind the gasket and you tuck your film. And the reason we left that half inch gap on the outside, if you take a close look, now we're down to about maybe 3 16 so a quarter of a gap, because we had to tuck past this seal back here in the corner. So you have to make up for the that half inch that you're giving up here on this edge. And all of this gets lined up regardless, since we're trimming the top edge. So once everything looks good and lined up, I'm gonna get all your film across, run that corner tool behind your gasket just to make sure you have no film above. Once you're good to go, uh, spray your film one more time and start laying from one edge to the next. So I always work from left to right. Make sure you get that, that top edge tacked down first so your film doesn't move. And then you work back to the other side. 
tack your corners down and just start squeezing all your water out. Once again, you want to grab your, your triangle card, get behind those seals, and your goal is to get rid of all that bottom water that you're not able to get with your squeegee. And at this point, your whole window is squeegeed. What I do is you want to clean up the panel, and then clean your, your film side very carefully. Make sure you don't pull any film back or get the adhesive side um, dirty. And then you want to go back to the other side and and clean this up so you can check for any any leftover water or dry spots so if you look on this side the factory trim has like a plastic piece and it stops here but if if you walk over to the other side your inside trim is cut about half inch short so the, that's the reason why we left that half inch gap on the right side, which ended up get, leaving us about a quarter inch at the end of the install. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the top edge dry and let the adhesive set. So when we come to trim the excess, we don't run the risk of the film pulling back or uh, getting like jagged cuts. All right, so our windows finally dry. All of our edges are ready to be trimmed. There's two options for frameless windows. You can either shave it with your carbon blade or you can file the edge. If you're just starting off or this is just a, a quick project for you, I would suggest shaving the window. You do run the risk of messing up your, your window's edge. So the process is at about a, a 45 degree angle, the whole way front to side to back, you wanna run along the edge and you. this is the sound you wanna hear. You don't need to go fast. You need to go at a, at a steady pace. So you get an even cut all the way across and you run your blade all the way through. If you have to stop and readjust yourself so you're, you're not cutting at an awkward angle, then do so. Because if, if you mess this cut up, you've got to start all over. If your blade goes dull, you just snap off a new piece. So you're able to run your finger across the top edge without cutting yourself. Now the bottom edge, I like to work from the bottom up. Some people work from the top to the bottom. If it's a lot more comfortable, you can do so. So I'll show both ways and meet in the middle. If you wanna meet at the curve, follow the curve all the way through and then pull your film a bit. Or you can start from the bottom work your way up and you're good to go your windows ready to be closed you're able to untrick your door handles this is the last step to tinting your frameless windows on your c8 i would give it about three to five days to let the adhesive cure before you roll down your windows you've successfully tinted a, a c8 yeah congratulations Thank you.